first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who are called, it is the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. And so we look to the Oblate Constitutions. The cross of Jesus Christ is central to our mission. Like the Apostle Paul, we preach Christ and Him crucified. If we bear in our bodies the death of Jesus, it is with the hope that the life of Jesus too may be seen in us. Through the eyes of our crucified Saviour, we see the world which is redeemed with His blood. And so we pray. Almighty God, we come to you because Jesus asked us to pray that you send workers into your harvest. Therefore, send us generous men, passionate for Jesus, willing to make their whole life a total offering to you. Following the footsteps of St. Eugene of Azanod, may they become close to the poorest and most abandoned and continue the work of your redemption. Through Mary Immaculate, our mother and guide, we pray for an increase in vocations to our congregation and perseverance for our mission to announce the gospel of Jesus in this great southern land. Amen.